Mark your calendar and get ready for the experience of a lifetime. Monday, August 21st, 2017. The date of a rare and amazing celestial show. The first total solar eclipse in the continental United States in nearly four decades. A total eclipse of the sun is probably the most beautiful, dramatic, and truly awesome natural phenomenon that anybody can experience in their life. I am really excited about saying this. I've wanted to see an eclipse since I was five years old. The August 21st event is being called the Great American Eclipse or All-American Eclipse because the moon's dark shadow touches no other country as it travels 8,600 miles across Earth's surface. In the continental United States, we haven't had a total eclipse of the sun since 1979. And that one was visible only from a few states in the Pacific Northwest. What's special about the total eclipse of August 21st, 2017, is that it will cross the country from coast to coast. So millions and millions of Americans will get a chance to see a total eclipse of the sun. The roughly 70 mile wide path of the moon's dark shadow makes landfall on the Pacific coast in Oregon, then makes its way southeast across parts of Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, and the Carolinas before heading out into the Atlantic Ocean. Moving at an average speed of about 2,000 miles per hour, the shadow crosses the country in just 90 minutes. A partial solar eclipse will occur across the rest of North America, but to witness totality, you'll need to get yourself into that 70-mile wide path. According to Rick Feinberg, the difference between a total eclipse and a partial one is literally the difference between night and day. If you didn't know a partial solar eclipse was happening, you might not even notice it. Totality, when the moon covers the entire disk of the sun, on the other hand, is impossible to miss. Solar eclipse is really an experience. You experience it with your eyes, you experience it with your skin because you feel the temperature drop. You experience it with your ears because you hear people shouting and screaming all around you. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon comes between the sun and earth and casts the darkest part of its shadow, called the umbra, on our planet. Within the umbra, the sky gets as dark as deep twilight. Sunset colors glow all around the horizon, and the sun's outer atmosphere, the shimmering pearly white corona, becomes visible. Totality will last longest, about 2 minutes 40 seconds, between Carbondale, Illinois and Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Elsewhere, viewers near the center of the shadow's path can expect at least 2 minutes of darkness. Where's the best place to see it depends on all sorts of things. So first of all, if you live on the path and you can just see it, that's great. If you're near the middle of the path, you're going to be under the shadow for longer. So that's the best place to be. But then there are other factors. Obviously, you don't want it to be cloudy. So going to the places that have the best chance of clear skies. So by far the best place is Eastern Oregon. It's high desert. You're most likely to have a clear sky. But don't fret if you're not lucky enough to live within the path of totality. An estimated 200 million people, about two out of every three Americans, live within a day's drive of the shadow central line. Nearly all the rest are within a two-day drive. Especially with the ability to travel that we have these days and with social media making people aware, this is going to be the, the first opportunity for people all over the U.S. to travel and see a total solar eclipse, which is often a life-changing experience. Although total solar eclipses occur somewhere on Earth every year or two, they're usually in remote locations requiring expensive and sometimes difficult travel. On average, any given spot on Earth gets a total solar eclipse only once every 400 years or so. Eclipse chasers like Feinberg never tire of seeing the solar corona, which looks different at every eclipse and is eye-wateringly beautiful. The 2017 eclipse will give millions of people in the U.S. their first and for many their only chance to experience totality. Feinberg encourages you to do what it takes to get into the path. To go through life without seeing a total eclipse of the sun would be kind of like going through life without ever falling in love. You'd just be ashamed. Everybody should try to see at least one. August 21st, 2017. Prepare yourself for the cosmic experience of a lifetime and hope for clear skies.